Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome, high-end, but not the highest-end, great price point motorhome, perfect for almost any couple. This is a 2022 Forest River Georgetown GT5 model 34M5. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you guys three things we love about this unit and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited to be showing you the Georgetown GT5 with the beautiful optional full body paint. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everybody! How's it going today? It's going good. Hey, I want to remind everybody about our rally. Yes! Coming up in May in Nashville at Four Corners. Um, if you guys need more information on when and where, please email Will at wil at mattsrreviews.com. Yes, and we only have 50 spots and they are booking up fast, guys. So make sure if you want to come to the first ever Matt's RV Reviews rally, you come there this May. Can't wait to see everybody. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Georgetown GT5 34M5. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 37 feet 11 inches. This is the GT5. This is the middle of the road for Georgetown. They got the GT3, 5, and 7. 5 is that sweet spot where you're starting to get good quality without breaking the bank. And again, standard comes partial body paint. This has the optional full body paint, which looks fantastic. Right up there, we have a nice big windshield. And then this is always silly to me when it comes to the GT5s, is these front headlight designs. Now, last time we did a GT5, a lot of people were commenting, saying that they like the way it looks. It it looks like a happy motorhome to me. Doesn't it look <laughs> like it's happy? Yes. I want a mean motorhome. I want an aggressive motorhome. But this just, you know, it's like the big eyes and the smile. It seems pretty happy. Coming on down the side here, we do got chrome mirrors on the left side and right side. Camera's not integrated in them. The cameras are integrated in the side, left side, right side, and reverse. And because this is a new 2022, it does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Michelin's. I love those. 235-80R 22.5 with, what type of rims are those? Alcoa. Shiny Alcoa rims. Yes, ma'am. Right here, we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. You can see the frameless windows looking fantastic. And again, the full body paint job looks great. That's about a $12,000 option. So if this is your first motorhome, I might recommend not getting it. But if this is your second or third motorhome and you know exactly what you want, totally worth that price increase. What say you? I agree. Right here, you can see the auto leveling batteries and everything. Sound system, TV on the outside. Outside speakers. Yes, ma'am. Oh, man. Okay. Right here, we do got storage. This is just a little bit of storage right here. Water purifier in there. Yes, ma'am. filter. Right here. Uh, this is just some access points. And then look at the water heater. I love how they continue the paint job there. And then coming on down the side here. Right here, Andrea. It's a propane um, quick, quick connect, connect if you want to have a grill on the outside. And then this. Oh my goodness. Look at that storage. Wow. Fan freaking tastic. Bet you've never seen that on a class A like this. No, not right there. Seriously. I mean, it's like really, really good. More storage here. Pass through again. And there's no way. Okay. Oh, oh, snap. Yeah, more a storage. More here eye tray. Look with at a more that. Eye tray. That doesn't seem right. See, that seems kind of stupid to me. You know why that seems kind of stupid? Because you can't put anything higher than here on it. You know what I'm saying? But still, well, I guess because so you don't have to reach all the way into the middle. Got it. So maybe for like fishing rods yeah. and ladders. And, okay. You know what? I, I do like it. I do like it. Great job there. Coming around the back, we do have a fiberglass rear cap. Okay. 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. And dang, nab it, Andrea. Maybe you could put a ladder in that storage because there's not one on the back of this. Nice fiberglass rear cap, backup camera. Also, Georgetown GT5 
does put on a one-piece fiberglass roof. Finishing up. 50 amp power cord there. Very nice. Auto transfer switch. Storage, fantastic. Other side. I love the same latch doors. Other side of the storage. Now when you get to the GT7, you get the aluminum slam latch doors. I'm, I'm fine with these though. You'll fill well. up? Yes. Wet bay? Yes, here's your wet bay. Outdoor shower, black tank flush, potable water fill. Potable! Potable! More storage. And the storage it does have lights on the inside. Okay. My goodness, a storage machine. Wow, and then this is unique. This one must have been a custom order because it has an upgraded Onan 7000 generator. That I, is that is a little strange, I isn't it? I believe that's not the standard. Isn't it only 5000 or 55, something? 55, yes yeah. ma'am. And then right here, Andrea, is the propane tanks. And Miss Jen, bing, please insert all the specs right there so everybody can see who's watching on television. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Georgetown GT5 looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. Okay, Matt, don't forget the cargo carrying capacity. Check it out. Okay, guys, slide is in. There it is. 2,711 pounds. That's pretty good. Yes, ma'am, it is. Okay, look at this. Nice walkway with the slide in. Plenty of room. You can definitely open the refrigerator. Walking back here, no problem at all. Here is the bathroom. And you can use the bed with the slide in. Wow. Andrea. Yes. With the slides in. I'll explain a little bit more in a second. But first, we gotta give a big shout out to our sponsor, RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular Trip Planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Andrea, the bedroom behind you is the most unique bedroom that I've ever seen in a Class A gas motorhome. Do you want to show it or should we make people wait? I'm going to make them wait. Oh man. All right, let's get started <laughs> up front here. So up front here, Andrea, in the cockpit area, it's your traditional F53 cockpit. You got a nice cup holder here, auto leveling, everything's right here. This is the newer steering wheel with the 7.3 liter V8. I like this position here. I feel like a commander. Right there, the Sony, I'm, able to, I'm gonna be able to see what's left to me, right to me. I'm gonna be able to watch the cameras, especially as I'm driving down the road. Andre, would you like to sit in the co-captain seat? Yeah. And look at all the leg space you got there. I know, this is awesome. Very, Very nice. I like this here. Okay. Um, it's a little flimsy, but- Is it flimsy? It looks yeah. kind of firm. I don't know. Um, I like that at least you have something so you could work yes, here. Yes, yes, for Which sure. Nice. You have a cup holder, window, we've got um we've got daytime. Oh wait, no, just privacy shades right here. Yes, yes, yes. We've got the electric shade there. Yep, and again okay. guys, notice how much foot space she has underneath there. Right, and I like that the doghouse is small. Yes. These seats do swivel. Okay. And there is a pedestal table that goes there. Very nice. We've got some storage up here. Yes, ma'am. 
Okay, let's see what we got over here. Okay. Very nice. Very good. And then Speakers. are we missing a door there or is it just supposed to be open? I think that's just supposed to be open. Interesting. Okay. Speakers above. Yep. And there's a place for USB. USB. And then we do got a bunk over the cab, Andrea. All we got to do is push this button down, make sure the seatbelt's on. It's a little one. Belted. Yep. It's a little one. Probably what? 500 pounds. Maybe less. Maybe less. Maybe 300 it's pounds. Very yeah, this small. is a single. But good, good. Look at this. There is a safety netting right here, which is very, very good. Yeah, I'm going to call this one it doesn't say, but I'm going to call this 350 pounds. And there is a ladder that goes there, you guys. Yes. Very nice. And then over in the living room, check out that pantry space. Okay, let's look at this right here. Nice color cabinetry. Okay, wow. Here's your pedestal table. Yes. We have these here. That's always nice when you have those. And we've got a drawer down here. Very nice. And then next to it is, look at this Wow. Huge dinette, Andrea. I like that dinette. Look at this. Okay, so this is the cushion that goes on top when it does drop down to make a bed. Um, and let's check this out. Oh, man. I love this. So... See, that's what doesn't make any sense either. Okay, so I thought so, America. Normally, it's supposed to come with the Kawasaki or the Yamahas now because of the... Um, that's the, what Forest River's doing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one came with the Cummins and the 7000. Do you know what happened, Andrea? They, they're just running out of stuff. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Here's what I will say. For this particular buyer, y'all, um, I think they got a gift. With yeah, the 7,000. Definitely. Know, that's what they put in the higher end Tiffins and the higher end Southwinds. Um, I was wondering why that would be in a GT5. Uh, we, we've seen that with Alliance. They did a two week production run with tires that weren't their normal brand of tires. You know, it's just the RV industry right now. But normally, it is the 5,500 Yamaha generator. And then look at these seats, Andrea. I love these back cushions. They feel fantastic. We got your cup holders here. Look at this. Daytime shades and privacy shades. I love that. Valances? Under approved! Oh, Valance is approved. I love it. Valance I love it. Approved. Very cute. And then um, and there's storage under here too, Matt. Look. Okay. On both sides. Yes. Okay, we have these. Very nice. Okay. And then going into the living area, it looks like we have entertainment sofa. Yes. And again, guys, just so you know, when this drops down, you know, it's nice. Yes, yeah, so Andrea, over here, the... T oh, gosh. Oh, man. You know, what are they you doing? Know they're going to all be like that for Why a little bit. Why are they bit. doing that? I don't know. Look how stupid that I looks. I know. <laughs> hey, Andrea, we don't make them. We just review them. Look at that. Isn't that silly? It's very silly. Oh, man. Okay. So that's the storage above. We do have the nice Thomas Payne collection here. A uh, little bit of storage here. Cup holders, cup holders. Uh, heat seats, electric recliners, and everything. And, Andre, this is a great place to watch the television. Look at that. We have with a nice sound bar. TV with sound bar, yes. A little bit of storage here. Not a ton. Nice little countertop so you can put like little figurines or whatever. And then it does have a 34 inch Furion fireplace. Andrea, are you ready to show us the kitchen? Yes, but before I do, I just want to remind everybody that we are now part of RVR. Yes. Which is a nationwide network of dealerships. Yes. We have over 93 in the country already. Absolutely. So that means we'll have a dealer near you. Um, if there's anything that you're interested in, please contact contact us on the Matt's RV Reviews page and contact us and somebody will get back to you as soon as they can. Yes, show us this kitchen. Yes. Sorry all guys, I'm still drinking my coffee this morning. All you gotta do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. <laughs> we love you, Andrea, that's good. Okay, up here we have Hey, Andrea, cabinet. all you gotta do is go mattsrvreviews.com. Okay. <laughs> Cute. Oh my gosh, the balances are adorable. Nice. They really are. Here's a shade here. Okay. Nice solid surface countertop. Very pretty. We have a double sink. Okay. Okay. And then there's an extension here. Very nice. And, oh! Okay, you got space for a little trash can there. Okay, and then Andre, there was countertop extender. <gasps> oh, wow! Yes, ma'am. I know, I know. Nice. 
nice. And look how flush it is. Yes, That's a nice feature. I like that. And then we have four drawers over here. Okay. Nice size. Another cabinet above here. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then we've got a mic no, a convection microwave. Furion at its wow. finest. I love it. Okay, very cute backsplash. I like the, the backsplash, honeycomb. honeycombs. We've got the three burner propane suburban cooktop. Yes, ma'am. And we got an oven, which is actually a very good size. Very nice. All right, moving on to the refrigerator. We have a two-way uh, propane refrigerator. Okay. Runs off your shore power and your propane. And what's nice about this is it kind of gives you a more residential size. Nice, I like it. I like it. Yes, definitely great for, you know, not having to worry about shopping every week. Right. Okay, so let's check out the bathroom. Okay, so we do Split have a bath. bath. Yes, ma'am. Decent size shower, okay? Nice one-piece fiberglass shower. Uh, Andre, if you go over here, look at this. There's actually a seat in the shower, I like it when there's which seats. is very nice. Really big and wide and tall, and I and think they did a pretty fantastic decent step job up with too. it. Yes, Andre, show that sink and medicine cabinet. Okay, so us. coming into here, very cute um, vanity lights right here. Okay. Nice size medicine cabinet. Okay, we have a nice rectangle sink with some counter space, yes. window, and there is another cabinet down here. Very nice. And then, Andrea, that toilet looks pretty fine. It's the electric toilet. Oh, it's a little low. Low works for me. Andrea, I am not touching on any side. Wow. This is a pride poop position. Bing! Very nice. Andrea, this might be the first motorhome we've had that's been Andrea Valance approved and right. pride poop position approved. Very nice. Okay, so coming into oh, the master. Hang on. Yes, go go in there. And <laughs> I then to show the entryway here. Yep, it has an entry door. Okay. okay. So hang oh on. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. You ready? Yes. Ta-da! Look at that. What the, show us, what the oh, heck's going on back there? It looks like a workstation. It is a workstation. I mean, look at this, this is fantastic. You know, I've never seen this before in a bedroom. Andrea, hold the camera real quick. Look at this space, guys. This is a class A gas motorhome. There is two slide outs here. And what's even crazier is you heard Andrea right. Even though there's two slide outs, the bed didn't need to be tilted in. Right. Andrea, show show that wardrobe space okay. and everything. Okay, so right next to the uh, desk, you have a wardrobe. Huge wardrobe. Cabinet here. Very nice. Oh, wow, look at that. It's huge. Okay. There's an electrical outlet over there. There's another. Oh, stackable. Holy smokes. Whoa. Stackable. Washer that and dryer. That is awesome. Did you know that was in there? No. Neither did I. I thought it was a wardrobe. I thought it would have been prepped for it. Wow. Okay, over here, more wardrobe wow. space. Wow, keep going. Okay. Keep going. Holy smokes. I'm going to come across here to the TV. Andrea, a wardrobe machine. Yes. This is this, this is a motorhome good for you, so you can fit all your clothes. I don't know if this opens, Matt. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> There, there it is. you go. There is storage there. Yes. Okay. And then we have another little wardrobe here. Wow. But look at all the dwarves here. Look I at them. Mean, There's seven of them. That's crazy. Just seven dwarves. Look at that. Really good space. Wow. Okay. So behind us. Yes. Is the bed. And then look at that. Look um, at that. Look at that nightstand over there. How wow. big that is. Very interesting. So you have a big nightstand over right. here and practically and, no nightstand right. over there. Right, and you got a king size bed. Yes, very nice. And then the storage again. Interesting. No headboard because you have that window there. Correct, correct. And let's see, I bet there might be some storage under here, Matt. That'd be pretty amazing, but I bet you they're right. Because I bet you there's... Oh, wait. Nope. Nope, you got the drawers here. Wow. Uh, nice okay, drawers. that's pretty cool. Okay, good drawers. Yeah, no, this is a heavy mattress. Really good quality mattress there. Two AC units on the roof. It's just not coming with a chair, unless there was a chair on the outside somewhere, but I didn't see that. Well, Andrea, everybody's dying to know what the MSRP is, and we will tell everybody on this unit. But first, it's time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we just don't like about it, Andrea. What do we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Okay, I have two, if you have one. 
Well, I bet you my one is probably your one. Well, you go first then. Okay. Uh, I, I will keep saying it every time we're Talk here. to me. I don't like these cabinets. Oh, yeah. I don't like the way they open. Nope. Downward cabinets are stupid. It's, it's definitely going to get broke. Yep. 100,000%. Yeah. Forest River, get your warranty department ready because those cabinets are going to break. And then they're going to be like, Forest River's going to be like, oh, well, it wasn't our fault that it broke. It's like, no, you put it upside down, so it is your <laughs> fault. Okay, that's dislike number one. Dislike number two, Andrea. I said it already. We don't need to go back outside because it is a little chilly. The front headlight design. I think they look really goofy on the Georgetown GT5s. Out of all the motorhomes, they are truthfully, not in a mean way, my least favorite headlight design. But again, that's my opinion because a lot of people like the way it looks. They say the Georgetown looks like a happy motorhome. So I like, you know, like the mean, aggressive headlight design. So like an Audi. So that's number two. And then Andrea, I do have a number third if you don't. I don't. Okay. It's just gonna be the bunk over the cab. You know, um, it's kind of flimsy. I don't know the weight, I'm pretty sure. It's only going to be about 300 pounds. I say it's only 250. Right. It, it was only good for one person where this motorhome is doing a fantastic job with the biggest bedrooms, the biggest storage, the biggest dinettes, the biggest kitchens. But then they kind of slacked on the bunk over the cab. And I am kind of reaching there. But Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You ready to go first? I will go first. Go ahead. Okay. I think it's adorable. The balances are so cute. Yes. I, I gotta say, I do really like the kitchen layout. It's beautiful. It's very cute. You know, it has cute backsplash, nice, pretty kitchen countertop. What else can I say? And it's a good size yes. for this size motorhome. They really knocked Plenty it out of, of the park. Space. That's number one. Andre and number two, we're coming back here. Of course. Epic bedroom, epic bedroom. Can't believe they're giving you an office in here. I love that feature. You got a BYOC, bring your own chair, but I love this feature. And I just love how big the bedroom is because like what a lot of people, you know what I think Georgetown's realizing, a lot of people spend a lot of time in the bedroom. Yeah. Not everybody's always out in the living room. Like Andre and I, when we're at home, we're in the bedroom. We're not out in the living room. The kids are in the living room. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is like our zone. You know what I'm saying? So I like how it's bigger and spacious. And I can actually get dressed in here. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's a big feature. So that's number two. And then Andrea, we're going outside. Okay. We are going outside. Number three, Andrea, I'm going to do a combo. One, the full body paint looks fan freaking tastic. But two, the amount of exterior storage yes was really really good i like the slam latch doors this was all storage that storage in the rear and that slide out tray this has some of the best storage i've seen on a class a gas motorhome well andrea do you know what time it is it's, it's now time, time for, for the, the msrp, MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. um okay msrp on this motorhome here is two hundred seventeen thousand four hundred and forty two dollars andrea that is MSRP with the theater seats, upgraded generator. So maybe they did pay for the generator. Stackable washer and dryer, kick size bed, dual pane windows. Now, uh, they have another one here that doesn't have all those upgrades. That was 205,903. So depending on how you order it, if you order it top of the line or bottom of the line, it's gonna be around that price. But Andrea, Nobody pays MSRP, especially when they watch Matt's RV reviews. And that's because we're partnered with RV Retailer, which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships, guys. So it doesn't matter if you live in New York, Florida, Texas, or California, we have a dealership close to you. We will be able to help you find one of these, order one, buy one on the lot, and get a phenomenal price. All you gotta do is go to mattsrvreviews.com, click one of three contact me tabs. Andre, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes, hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Forest River does read the comments. Okay. Uh, so they appreciate everybody's feedback. Uh, just a reminder, you guys, 
We are having our rally yes. in Nashville in May. Yes. So if you're interested on the information for that, please email Will at W-I-L at MattsRVReviews.com. We hope to see you guys down yes. at the rally. We hope you're safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.